Rob, this is a tribute to you. Lolo Castagnola. There's the warning bell. Can they get it downfield? Lolo, wow! What a shot! That ball was knee high. Pete Marlos is there. Mike Gonzalo gives it down to Pete. Pete running it down the goal. Pete Marlos has he miscued? Can he get it? It is a score! How about that for Polo? How about that for excitement? Ten years have passed. It seems like just yesterday we had the first uh, Outback 40 goal game at Royal Palm Polo, which was the uh, Rob Walton benefit. For three years we held benefits in the arena at, at uh, Palm Beach Polo with many of the 10 goal players participating. After uh, the third year of playing in the little sandbox, uh, Memo Gracita said, Dave, let's do this on the grass. Everything started with Rob Walton and I think it was a great idea. We started to do some arena polo and exhibitions uh, to help grow up. Well, what it happened is that we played the first uh, indoor exhibition for of charity and uh, we thought it would have been a great idea to do it in a, in a bigger scale. Snow, the number two. Adam Snow winds up, gives that ball downfield. Eduardo Hege moves into the line. Hege breaks the goal. Eddie Hege, he winds up, he shoots, he scores! The Polo Player Support Group is extremely grateful to Royal Palm Polo and the Oxley family. I've had a lot of luck in the last year in the stock market, and it's my pleasure to give you, from me, a check for $100,000. It was obvious to uh, many members of the Polo community that, that not only Rob needed some help, but there were many seriously injured or ill players and grooms in our polo community uh, who could also use some assistance in, in uh, times of need. Hi, uh, my name is Angel Vasquez. Uh, I'm here representing Patricio Vasquez family. Unfortunately, uh, seven years ago, my father was diagnosed with uh, cancer. And thanks to this, this support, my father should be able to be back on his feet. One of, my, one of my former grooms, Gina Wood, you know, had a, had a bit of an accident and uh, was very unlucky. Thanks to the Polo Player Support Group, uh, they were able to, to cover her expenses and, and to help her out with money um, in the six or seven months that she wasn't working. With the help of uh, Tony Coppola, Tim Gannon, and my brother Todd, the Polo Player Support Group was formed in 2001. Since then, Mimi Gracida, Ginny Orthwine, and Diana Demena have joined our board and have been very instrumental in our growth for the past several years. I was attracted to the Polo Players Support Group Board about four years ago. My favorite thing about it is that it is immediate action for people that are very near and dear to all of us, and even those that we don't know are so associated with our great sport of polo. Hi, I'm Diana Demena, and I'm a board member of the Polo Player Support Group. Uh, it became very personal for us when a player in Southampton, who occasionally plays with our Aquilius team, was hit by a drunk driver. He needed a lot of medical care and then a great deal of time to recuperate, and the Polo Player Support Group uh, gave him the money that he needed to get by until he could work again. In our first 10 years, we've been very lucky to witness 22 different 10-goal players and play in the various Outback 40-goal challenges. These 22 10-goal players are the true superstars of the sport of polo. Eduardo giving the pass right to Cambiasso. Cambiasso with a chance, a little flick of the wrist, and the first goal of the game, Adolfo Cambiasso. They're the Wayne Gretzky's, Michael Jordan's of polo. Not only have they been very generous in contributing their, their time and their horses in the 40 goal games, they are also always extremely willing to help out afterwards with, with various auction items. They have played in the Dream Team games, hosted people in Argentina at their farms and their clubs for a week of polo, and some were even brave enough to play paintball last year. Could anybody could help, and for example, Los Machitos, which is the organization that we, that we have in Argentina, donates a week of polo for everybody that buys the week in the auction on the night of the game. You know, those are little things that, you know, when everybody puts a shoulder and tries to help 
a little bit becomes a big, uh, big number. Every time you have a chance to do something, you should do it. And, and, and this is for us that we play polo, this is the best way, no? At the same time, we are helping a lot of people and we are also having fun playing very good polo. So I think it's a really good idea. My family has been playing polo forever. It's good that we have the chance to help the people that had an injury playing polo. In the old times, my father and my uncle didn't have that chance, so it's good to help playing the, the game that we love. I think it's a, a great cause to help uh, our colleagues. I think it's a, it's a great thing to do is playing polo and having fun, helping people. Whenever you can, have a, you can give a hand, it's fantastic. It makes you feel good and makes feel somebody else good too. So. Of course, the Outback 40 Goal Challenge would not be possible without the contributions of dozens of volunteers each year. To date, the Polo Player Support Group has been able to award 62 assistance grants to 35 different seriously injured or ill players and grooms. We have paid out just over a million dollars to these 34 different individuals. I am greatly honored and extremely thankful to have been able to be part of this effort to care for the members of our Polo family who have suffered a serious injury or illness. None of this would have been possible without our uh, board of directors, our wonderful supporters, and of course the 22 10 goal players that have participated in the last nine years of the Outback 40 Goal Challenge. Player support group has got people that are very, were very close to me. People that, like Ruben Repojo, he, he suffered an, an accident in, in Aiken, and, and the Polo Player support group just gave him solutions. Uh, in my case, it's uh, very particular because my, my brother had a fall playing polo, so he pushed me much more to help. In this case, these 40 goals is. They, they've been helping him a lot, so... And, uh, also, a good friend of mine, Esteban Panelo, who suffered that accident. Well, it was a very shocking, very shocking moment because uh, it was one of the top players in the world at that, at that moment. Like he was going to be a... He was going to be an next 10 goaler for sure. Thanks to the Polo Player Support Group, he, he gets a benefit or... that that he can provide the guy a, a smile, uh, you know, uh, can provide him help and, and knowing that everybody in one way or another is, is packing him up. Uh, recently our, our dear friend Veronica Solis became very ill in Mexico. Um, we were able to give them assistance so they could uh, get their feet back on the ground. It was just a godsend for them. My name is Ruben Reposio. Quisiera agradecer a la Asociación de Soporte del Polo. También quiero agradecer a toda la gente que está en Weiberch, que me ayudaron al principio. A los doctores también quiero agradecer a la primera operación. Especialmente al doctor Todd Norega, que me llevó a su casa para prepararme para mi última eh, operación. operación.